Hey everybody, it's Sabrina from Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast, coming to you from the Discovery Zone at Bay Preserve at Osprey. Before we get started, I actually want you to pause this video and go take a look outside. I'll wait. Are you back? Awesome. So, you looked outside. What did you see out there? What did you hear? There is a myriad of plants and animals all outside right now, living all in the same area together. Oftentimes, you'll hear us refer to this as biodiversity, but what is biodiversity exactly? To put it simply, biodiversity is the amount of variety of all life on Earth. It's a number of different species of plants and animals, all those microorganisms. It's everything alive in all of Earth's different ecosystems. Biodiversity can best be divided into three interlocking types of diversity we can measure, from widest to most specific. Ecosystem diversity, species diversity, and genetic diversity. The more biologically diverse a place is, the more resilient it is to change, which is important for nature across the board. Let's start at the top with ecosystem diversity, or the wide range of natural communities in an area. Take a look at Little Sarasota Bay. All of the plants and animals, from the plankton in the water to the wading birds that frequent the shores, rely on each other in order to be kept in balance. But no single ecosystem exists alone. The strength of an ecosystem comes from relationships it has with neighboring ecosystems, and their strength together is much greater than if they were apart. That Interwoven bond between each ecosystem relies on a large cast of characters to keep things in balance, which is where species diversity comes into play. Not every plant is made for every purpose, and not every animal will eat just anything. Having a great range of species, from grasses to raptors, means that the natural community is strong and more likely to be resilient. But this doesn't mean that just any species will do. Our natural communities need to be populated with plants and animals that can help each other, not crowd each other out. That's why invasive plants do so much harm. They crowd out not just one, but often many other native species, and break many of the links that keep a community diverse. The last level is genetic diversity, or the diversity within a species. Change is inevitable, whether for better or for worse, and natural communities are faced with an ever-changing world that tests their flexibility. Genetic diversity greatly serves to help a species adapt to the changes that may come their way. Failure to maintain genetic diversity limits the capacity for a population to adapt, making it vulnerable to even the smallest changes of the environment, and increasing the likelihood of extinction. So together, ecosystem diversity, species diversity, and genetic diversity make up our idea of biodiversity as a whole, which, as you may have guessed, is pretty important to the well-being of our planet. Knowing what lives where and having proof of natural conditions will help scientists better understand not only how nature around us is changing, but how our populations are further diversifying and reacting to environmental changes they may not even know about yet. Your contributions are important to telling a story about our area and how resilient nature can be.